and I will tell you the ways that won't work. And that will be exactly how the judges will react to your idea. We were scrolling with our friends. Suddenly somebody said something, that idea developed. Hua. Fighting and differences in opinion are what makes it so fun, so lively. Sometimes threatening your team's integrity, but yes, they are the fun things. Hello guys, this is Sayed Saif from Team Inside IIM and today we have a very different topic for you guys on our main channel. Today we are going to discuss about B-School competitions, what it takes, what are the stakes, behind the scenes, how to enroll in one, what are the key takeaways that you can take away from this experience as an MBA student. Today we are at Great Lakes Institute of Management, Gurgaon and here on this couch we have Adar and Abhinav who are podium finishers in various competitions. Uh, can you introduce yourself for our audience? Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Adar Jain. I'm pursuing PGDM program in Great Lakes Institute of Management, Gurgaon. Hello, my name is Abhinav Saxena. I'm pursuing PGDM in Marketing and Analytics from Great Lakes Institute of Management. Good. I want to know what kind of competitions that you guys participate in and uh, what motivates you to uh, take extracurricular activities which are so intensive in the first place. So for me, it's a very diverse plethora of competitions that I participate in. They include your business plan competitions, uh, case studies and article writing. And uh, it's challenging uh, in every phase because different skill sets are required. For, for instance, when you are doing case study, the primary thing uh, on uh, purpose is your uh, teamwork. But when you are talking about article writing, it's your creativity and on-point analysis, the background research, so those things. Uh, while when we talk about uh, entrepreneurship business plans, at that time you have to have your studies right, your research right, as well as you have to ensure that not only your financial analysis is correct, but it is up to the market standards. Lovely. Do you uh, intentionally pick competitions which are already aligned to your skill set or do you make sure that you're participating in competitions which are maybe a little challenging for you so that you learn and grow? So initially, I picked up competitions from all areas so that I can explore and uh, develop an interest, see for myself what is my key area of interest and what is not. From there, I picked up variety of skills, so I worked on competitions related to finance, strategy, operations, marketing, analytics, everything. But now, if I talk about, so strategy, business plans, marketing, operations, these are the areas that I want to focus on because the, these niches are the places where I've built myself up over. I'm interested to know what are the prerequisites for competitions like this. Also, can you name a few recent ones that you were a part of? So I'll tell you, uh, from the very beginning, you have to have managed your time well. That is the prerequisite because your day in an MBA college is never free. You have to have uh, read the pre-reads and case studies that are given by your faculties. You have to work on your projects, your NSIMs, MIDSIMs, the exams, everything are lined up together. Apart from these, you are also part of bonding with your friends and everything because this is the last two years you get before your job ends. So this time you have to manage well, you have to take out time and see what is most important. So for instance, currently I have a subject called uh, CRM. So it's, a, it's a basically client relationship management. It is a new elective, I want to work upon that. So I pick up a competition related to that. So when it comes to team management when it comes to about because competition is like you are going out there you are representing your institute in, right so one i want to know how does that feel the feeling of responsibility that you are putting yourself out there and going doing something that you're not comfortable with maybe and you know on feet dealing with challenges with the team how does it feel like so ever since coming here the curriculum itself teaches you to work in a high stakes environment and we have to always put our 120 percent we are not doing anything different but the scenario changes now because you are dealing with students of different colleges you don't want to look bad you want to represent your college as best as possible and there your performance if you put 110 percent only then you have a chance of getting 100 percent right right and even then there are chances of having the mishaps so what you can control you control what you manage you manage 
but you make sure uh, the probability of succeeding is higher that goes when you are disciplined in your approach when you plan your things accordingly when you are ready to have the unexpected anyways any case because that is bound to happen uncertainties are at the peak here how does it feel to represent great lakes at a high stake uh, place like a competition so uh, basically uh, like when i talk about representing our college it's really the feeling of very honored and uh, taking it to the very next step and uh, like you are in the national finalist and now you are representing all the way uh, teams that have been from their different different campuses so uh, it's the kind of thing that uh, you are uh, facing the top minds of the uh, of the entire nation right abhinav you have any personal anecdotes to share from the recent competition you were a part of sure so i'll give you an example uh, there was this competition uh, so what they did was they asked us to prepare a new product launch for a failed product it had already failed uh, thrice in the market and now we are asked to relaunch it uh, in another way or we can develop a new product and then launch it so from there you have to first of all see why it failed is there a chance that if i launch it now will it succeed or are the chances still low so how do you approach it so we actually reached out to the company fortunately for us it was not a hypothetical case it was a real case so we reached out to their their brand manager at that point of time for that particular product they told us what were the failures the reasons for doing so and then we came to the decision that no we can't salvage the product as it was then and we have to have a new product idea for that so once we did it what is it that the customers like in that particular segment what is it that they want is it solving one of their particular needs or not is it aligning because there is this uh, product market fit so you have to make sure that what you are giving to the customers is what they actually want and not something else so once we uh, did it uh, we developed a product a prototype so we presented and uh, evaluated internally after doing so uh, we have to give out a roll out strategy or whether we'll uh, put it out in phases lovely answer so to summarize it uh for a student it helps to uh, solve real life problems problem solving skills is something that you develop you also maybe network a lot because you get to yes. meet a lot of people you reached out to the yes. brand manager so you build connections like yes. that and also you develop on feet thinking skills where you are presented with a problem and you rightly mentioned your anecdote of uh, solving it right on hand so i'm just curious to know when highly opinionated uh, people when they come together as a team how do you guys uh, ensure that the indifferences are managed and the difference of opinions are taken care of while keeping the problem at the center focus okay sure okay so uh, like uh, talking about the indifferences it's uh, mostly uh, like everybody have a different perspective so everybody uh, brings different thing under, on the table okay so firstly what i do is uh, analyze the case and analyze the situation what exactly they are asking and if any of the teammates have the more uh, uh, it's if it's looking like that idea is particularly more according to the practical uh, real world it's also connecting with the real world okay so that means it's not hypothetical that we uh, like build uh, some kind of ai thing that will do this and that right so you take up a lot of facts behind your decisions and that is the forefront of all your discussions so that the differences are managed and all of you are on the same page yeah. Yeah, Abhinav, what about you? Can you share any? Definitely. I mean, fighting and differences in opinion are what makes it so fun, so lively. Sometimes threatening your team's integrity, but yes, they are the fun things because you get to express yourself out there, put your opinions. Because these competitions help you develop these opinions, and they are not built on something that is in the air. you actually research for it so your methodology when you compare it with somebody else's so i have these two teammates currently shreya and advika so one is uh, someone who is very idealistic in perspective so she is very optimistic she thinks about how to go about things in the right way and uh, what will be the best case scenario what is the thing that we can get out of it one person is a bit pessimistic so what she does is 
कि वट इज़ द वर्स्ट केस सिनारी वेर विल लैंड अपॉन सो वॉट इज़ द बेयर मिनिमम दैट वी नीड टू कीप इन माइंड I don't like that position, but sometimes I take help from the uh, faculty uh, that is relevant for that particular case, and they help us decide. Well, sometimes it's like we let the facts speak for themselves, like he rightly mentioned, and sometimes it is also the in- intuition because when you are seeing some things in the market, you can't put your finger on it, but there are hypotheses that you can check, and currently in the current scenario, AI plays a big role. so chat gpt bard these tools bing you put your hypothesis out there you put your rationale behind it and you can ask it to validate it by the basis of current data available in the market and once you do that you realize sometimes your feelings are more on point apart from the direct facts that are available so that is also a thing very interesting and uh, you spoke about uh, a lot of faculties you present your case to the faculties and they fact check it for you not fact check it but they give you feedback before you present it to the competition so and i'm sure uh, being the senior you also get to mentor probably a lot of uh, students who comes to you, who come to you with cases because you have already gone through so many iterations and competitions yourself so how is the feeling of mentoring somebody like and how do you relate your personal ex- how do you condense your personal experiences and make sure to convey them in a way that they understand i think the best way that the faculty helps us out is when you ask them a particular thing you already study about it then you go out to them then you ask particular questions that where you are stuck at wahan par jab jaake aap unse poochte ho na they tell you the approach they don't give you the final results spoon feeding nahi hota and that helps you to develop your own perspective your own approach your own solution once you do that you condense it all either in the form of a ppt or excel sheet or a word document right to wahan par i think when you mentor somebody it's easier to show them how you did it rather than telling them how you did it तो वो सारे पी वगैरह जब आप पास डाउन करते हो अपने जूनियर्स को एंड यू गिव देम दो रिसोर्स बिकॉज एवरीथिंग बिकम्स अ रिसोर्स राइट तो वो रिसोर्स वेन यू पास डाउन दैट इज़ वेयर द लेगेसी कंटिन्यूस बिकॉज वेन वी वो फर्स्ट ईयर्स हमें भी बहुत सारी चीज़ें मिली थी हमारे सीनियर्स से एंड दैट इज़ वेयर वो पास ऑन होता है ये कॉलेज का लेगेसी बन जाता है दिस बिकम्स मोर देन योर वाला एक अच्छा फीलिंग आता है अंदर से सेल्फ ग्रेटिफिकेशन I am very sure that you will be passing on your mental frameworks to the coming juniors yes, who will be definitely. a part of a lot of competitions. And what about you, Adar? Uh, what was your experience mentoring somebody, and do you have any similar stories that you want to share with us? Okay, so uh, like talking about, uh, firstly, what I want is uh, you give me your idea. What is your thought on that? See, I don't like spoon feeding uh, to any of the like my peers or like the juniors that uh, have been uh, coming to me. The reason is. Uh, like once you spoon feed they their mental thinking ability will get stopped i would be like uh, likely to focus more on uh, like if you have come up with an idea why you have chose that idea why you have come up with that strategy because i am that kind of person that i will find loopholes in that idea and i will tell you the ways that won't work and that will be exactly how the judges will react to your idea so no idea is good or no idea is bad but if you are coming up with an ideation your team did right so you want the initial idea to come from them and then you guys build on top of it so that exactly. you give them the autonomy to choose and think for themselves as well and you guys just pave the way for them maybe guide them a little and they then carry on carry exactly. forward with their exactly. own journey right um also uh, one last question ha- any significant competitions that you guys have won or were a part of where the prize money was huge and also Uh, PPOs were involved. People was offered to the winners or something like that. Adidas का एक competition आया था November में. It was a hackathon for the first round. After you pass it, it was a gamified mental ability round. Once you pass it, their people will mentor you, and with them you will build upon a solutions. It was something related to operations, so we had to modify the supply chain. it was a five round competition there we managed to secure the third place so we got around uh, uh, 25k per person as a reward so that was a huge bonus uske alawa 
I got an opportunity for a PPI, so internship offer. Uh, and after, if I crack that internship, I'll get a placement offer. Just working with them for that particular internship taught me a lot. Uska jo idea aaya tha, that was something what fascinated me. Apan sochte hain ki apne regular baate they don't impact. But I got the idea while I was working. ऐसे हम लोग कॉलेज में वी आर स्ट्रोलिंग विद फ्रेंड्स सडनली समबडी सेट समथिंग वहाँ से आइडिया डेवलप हुआ एंड वी गॉट टू द कॉम्पिटिशन सो रैंडम बट ये लवली आई होप द प्राइज मनी वॉज स्पेंड टू मेक द एंटायर सेलिब्रेशन मोर मेमोरेबल फॉर यू एंड सो दैट यू ऑल पार्टिसिपेट इन मोर कॉम्पिटिशन गोइंग हाइड इन द फ्यूचर इफ यू लाइक टू डेज वीडियो प्लीज डू लेट एस नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो वॉट टॉपिक वुड यू वॉन्ट टू कवर नेक्स्ट and thank you adar and abino for your time i would like to end this conversation on a note that real learning happens outside the classroom and a lot of that memories will stay in your mind and in your head for years to come in the future you don't want to miss the mba college life <laughs> <laughs> lovely uh, thank you very much guys uh, thank you for your time thank you